All right, another short one. So let A be an ideal such that the, um, the radical of A is maximal and prove that A is primary. So suppose X, the, the product of X and Y is an A, but X is not an A. We want to prove that there's some power of Y which must be contained in A because that's what it means to be primary. So assume for contradiction that there is some natural number n such that y raised to the power of n is not an a. No, assume for contradiction that for every single natural number n, y to the n is not contained in a. Um, so that would, um, that would be true if th this ideal fancy a is not primary. Okay, so this means that y is not in the radical of a because radical of a is just things where this inclusion holds for some n. Now since r a is maximal, the ideal generated by the radical of a and the element y, this will be an ideal which properly contains the radical of a, and thus it must be all of the, the entire ring a. So let's see here, this ring contains the element 1, so 1 is contained in this ideal, meaning that we can write 1 as a times r plus b times y, for some coefficients a and b in, in the ring a, and some element r in the radical of a. Since r is in, my finger must have slipped and hit f instead of r. Since r is in the radical of a, there must be some power, some natural number m, such that raising r to the m leaves you in a. So then 1, well 1 is equal to 1 to the m, which is equal to this product to the m. And I don't remember what the binomial formula is, but I know that for every single, um, for every, if you write this uh, product out and it, you take a r from every single um, factor, then that, then the corresponding term in the sum will be a to the m times r to the m. Um, but then for every single other factor, you're going to be choosing b times y from at least one of the terms in the uh, in the product, and so you're going to get b to the p, b to some power greater than or equal to one times y to some power greater than or equal to one times possibly a and r to some powers. Um, but the fact that you're going to have a factor of y to the power greater than or equal to one means that you can write the um, every single other term in this uh, sum will have a y in it. And so you can factor out that y to get this uh, thing of the form d times y, where d is just some element in a. And so now we multiply this equation by x, and we get that x, because that's 1 times x, is equal to x times a to the m r to the m plus d y x. Now this a to the m no, this r to the m, r to the m is in the ideal a, so this entire term is in a. Um, now yx, that's the same as xy, because this is a commutative ring. So xy is in a by assumption, and so this entire product is in a. And so this is a sum of things in a, and so it's in a. So x is in a, but that contradicts our assumption that x is not in a. Therefore, y to the n must be in a for some natural number n, and hence a is primary.